one of the most topical issues has been what is labeled as the deteriorating conditions of Grenada's healthcare system. Successive governments have expressed the willingness to correct the flaws, but it has been insufficient as the concerns continue to grow, ranging from inadequate supplies at the general hospital and medical stations to practitioners' inability to professionally address complaints. Health Minister Nicola Steele says, however, government in 2017 will be making serious strides to improve on service availability and delivery. A, a, a lot of very good people working in our healthcare, in fact, beyond good, excellent people. We do have some individuals, though, that need to step up, need to recognize that the, the patient comes first, people come first. And those few are giving the rest um, a bad name. Um, we are working with all to improve and, 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 and are grateful for when members of the public point out to us any issues or so, because it, it, it's health is a people-oriented. Government on a whole is people-oriented, but health in particular. And it is to make sure that, that when someone is unwell, that they get, they, they get the best treatment possible. They get a human, human face, a caring person that deals with whatever their ailment is. He says one of the challenge faces is that of limited resources. He noted developing Grenada's human resource within the health sector takes major precedence as government is collaborating with the St. George's University, SGU, in order to provide proficiency opportunities. And, 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 and testament to that can be seen in the resources allocated in the 2017 budget, um, but also, as I said in Parliament, that it wasn't just an, an increase in dollars, but a smart increase. And, and to make sure that the people's money um, goes as far as possible um, in improving the services that are offered to the people. There isn't perfection, um, but there is constant improvement. This hurdle right now is, is actually working with people, um, making sure that, 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 that we can provide the qualifications or the opportunity for qualifications. So we have partnered with SGU. They have started the nursing program there. Um, we just awarded the second series of scholarships this year for nurses to, to go and get a bachelor's degree. Um, we have nurses in Barbados as well, um, being trained in, in community. Um, and we, we have doctors in Cuba. We have challenges um, with resources, but we have to get past those challenges to make sure that our people are equipped. He further stated, government is currently working to ensure that status of registered nurses is regularized soon. Renee Toussaint, GBN News.